are my top five dinners that you should be eating to be able to lose your chest fat, your belly fat, and your love handles. Over the last decade, I have undergone multiple bulking phases where my main focus is to build muscle and where I gain a little bit of fat and then cutting down. And these are the foods that I eat consistently for my dinner. Not only have I tried it myself, but I've utilized this with my clients, such as Tori, Avalance, Gary, Shannon, Nicholas, the list is endless. And what's even amazing about this is my clients still eat these meals till today after they've worked with me, including myself, and it's allowed me to stay in shape year round. So watch this video till the very end because all these meals contain three main categories that I need in a plan to be able to be successful. And if you follow it, you'll be successful too. Those three categories is that it's easy to prepare, they are repeatable, meaning you can do them every day and still love it, and finally, they're enjoyable. When you hit these three categories, they will allow you to build muscle and lose fat at the same time. Let's not waste any time. Let's go on into food number one. Meal number one is going to be a high protein pizza. This is gonna keep you on your diet and I'm gonna show you the easiest way to make it and also one that's high protein and macro friendly. So let's get started. First, we're gonna work on the toppings and we're going to remove the crown of the bell pepper. Now we're gonna cut these into small little pieces. This will help get the flavor out of the bell peppers. Almost done with our toppings. Now we just need to cut in the onion. So now we have all the stuff that's going to go into our pizza. And then our main ingredient is gonna be lean ground beef, 97% lean. And the way we're gonna make this is very unique. Right, so you take your lean ground beef. You want to spice it well. This pizza is going to be fire too. Some garlic steak. Some of my special spice. And then, I'm going to add a handful of onions in there. Handful of the peppers. And now we mix. We mix the lean ground beef really well. Right, so this is for the pizza. We have the base ready for the pizza. What's important is I want this to be quick because you wanna have your first meal, maybe you wanna go to bed. So you wanna make something quick, but you wanna enjoy it at the same time. So you're gonna just take a low carb wrap and that is going to be your base of your pizza. We're gonna take some bolognese sauce. I'm gonna use this as our base. Well, this is very low calorie, right? So in, per 100 grams, it's 68 calories. It's so low. Uh, it's about 30 grams in there. And then we cover this as our base. And if you guys want, you can definitely add more. So we have the base of our pizza, and this is about 30 grams. We add our topping, our main ingredient in the pizza. And I'm just gonna add that in here. And we're gonna have it nice and thick. This is what we call high protein, low carb pizza. So now we have our pizza ready and all we need to do is get into the pan. And literally between preparing the pizza and having it ready, no longer than 10 minutes. So we're just gonna wait for that to warm up. While it does that, I'm going to use reduced fat cheese. I'm gonna use two slices of this. Number one, two. So, as you guys can see, I'm just using makeshift cheese, but um, you guys have this protein cheese where you are in your local store, and that has much better macros than what they sell here. Now we're gonna take our pizza. You know what I love about these type of recipes as well, is that if you're a dad or you're a mom, and you're trying to get in shape. You want your kids to eat with you, right? So these are foods that you can add into your diet that not only you can eat, but you can prepare for the whole family, and they're fun. So that's something that's really missing in fitness these days is making foods fun and you know to encourage your kids as well to eat much healthier. And what's also cool is that you can use different toppings. If you're someone who likes it a bit spicy, you can get some jalapenos, you can add pickles, if you're the type to add pineapple. 
you know, that's your thing, then do it. Smells oh, good. Cool. So you guys may be wondering, okay, Mike, how are you gonna flip it? Take the base. Look at that, All right? And so you just flip it, it's ready to go. Now we just cook on the bottom. And while that prepares, we use this window to add our cheese. Now, all we're left to do, put it into the oven just to melt the cheese a little bit. Now we add the pizza to the plate. So, almost done. Lovely. And the pizza is ready. Beautiful. And depending on how you want to share it, there you have your pizza. Here we have our high protein barbecue lean ground beef pizza. Now, let me make a comparison as to how important this is. So a small, and we'll consider this a small, Domino's barbecue pizza comes out to be 1,260 calories. And that comes out to be 168 carbs, 39 grams of fat, and 60 grams of protein, right? So you can see that there's quite a lot of protein in there, but the carbs are astronomical and you have 40 grams of fat. The one I just made here is 470 calories versus 1,260. Here we only have 18.9 grams of carbs versus the 168, right? Nearly 10 times or about eight times more carb. Here we have 16.2 grams of fat, so less than half of the fat, and then 54.8 grams of protein. Basically the exact same amount of protein. And the cool thing about it is you can add any toppings you like and it took me 15 minutes. All you do is make your lean ground beef, add all the toppings you want. If I could, I would have maybe added some more tomatoes, some jalapeno on there, and if you have more time, pop it into the oven. But if you don't, then just make it in the pan. It tastes amazing, it gets the job done, it's nice, quick, and easy. It follows that easy, repeatable, enjoyable method that I have, and it's a plan that I make for my clients all the time. And if you guys are enjoying this series so far where I'm making meals that are good for your results in terms of being able to finally lose your belly fat and also to build muscle, leave the video the gentle thumbs up. And by the end of the series, I will make you guys an entire PDF with the video attached of how to make it, ingredients, the exact amount, and how long it will take. I'll put all the details there. Just leave it a small thumbs up. But let's move on into meal number two. Meal number two is scientifically proven to be one of the most filling meals that you can eat. Not only that, it's also going to help you in terms of being able to train really well, to be able to have a good power output, and it's also gonna give you enough protein. You will be surprised as well as how simple and easy this meal is, but delicious at the same time. So, we have 250 grams of baby potatoes. According to the satiety index, amongst carb-rich foods, potatoes are the most filling. So although some people may be like, you know what, Mike, I am afraid of carbs, this will make you feel fuller the longest. And it's amazing in terms of having a carb source pre-workout. So here's 250 grams, and then, Amongst the satiety index, the food that has the highest satiety is actually white fish, but steak is a close second, and I'm showing you guys the chart on the screen right now. So here we have 250 grams of steak. So we're just gonna spice it, and it's very easy to make. So we'll start first with our potatoes, and I've cut them in half, and you can bake it, you can put it in an air fryer, you can put it in the pan, however you want yours prepared. I will add a little bit of barbecue sauce. So first we'll start with the potatoes, we'll add it there, and then just a serving of barbecue sauce. We'll add some spice to the potatoes. So just make sure you get as much on the potatoes as you can. And we will now take the potatoes and add it into the air fryer. We're gonna put it at 180 degrees Celsius. I'm showing you the amount of Fahrenheit and we're gonna leave it in there 20 minutes while we prepare our steak. So, add them into your air fryer. Turn it on, air fryer one, air fry, 180 degrees, 
and we're gonna keep it in there for 20 minutes. Now, the next thing we're gonna focus on is the steak. So we have our steaks cut up in slices and you guys can have the steak however you like. Personally, I like my steak tenderized. So if you don't have a tenderizer, just use this. And this will just make your steak really soft. So sometimes people are put off that the steak is a bit too hard or maybe you overcook it by accident. Just use anything to tenderize it. Is it me or is it that the videos that are about cooking do the best on this channel? Like, let me know guys in the comments. Is it, what is it about the videos that with cooking you like? Is it that it gives you new recipe ideas? Some people maybe you like other watching other people cook. Let me know what it is or you just feel like it's more candid versus the very scientific based videos. So we're gonna take our glass bowl and we're gonna add the steaks into this bowl just to spice it. And I love to see that it's nice and well tenderized. Number one, we're gonna add barbecue sauce. 20 grams, it has to be 34 grams, then that's one serving. So all that barbecue sauce that I just added here is 34 calories, right? So I'm gonna, I'm gonna mix it. And if you want to get that juiciness into the steak, poke a bit of holes in it as well. And while that prepares, I'm gonna add, I'm gonna make my onions for the steak. Cool. Now, I'm just gonna cut these into rings. And I think that's enough for the onions. I like mine with a lot of onions. So I'm just gonna add that into here. And this is a pro tip for you guys. Let's say you try this meal and you really like it. Instead of cooking it every day, why not? And this is here is 8.8 .8 ounces. Make 19 ounces, right? Or make four days worth of protein sources. So just meal prep it and have it ready. And you can just have this barbecued, for example, instead of making the food every day. And the same with the 8.8 .8 ounces of potatoes. Just cut up enough potatoes for the whole week and then all you need to do is throw it into the air fryer and cook these when it's ready. But at least have your protein sources ready. And that way, half the battle is done, right? It's just thinking about what you want to eat. That's half the battle, really. And then once you've tracked it once, you don't need to track it again. So now we have the onions well mixed. And now we're going to spice it. Some garlic steak seasoning that I'm going to add to this mix. Some all seasoning. And then we make, we cook. So I just mix this really well. There we go. That's starting to smell lovely. I can smell the potatoes. I'm gonna put it at a seven out of 10 in heat. Actually, I'm gonna put a little, a little less because I don't want it to overcook. And we have time as well. We have 12 minutes left. That. And then we're gonna add the steak. Look at that. And instead of those potatoes, you can make fries as well just cut it into fries you can make chips so just cutting up the potatoes into smaller smaller thin little slices and you're good to go or you can even make it baked right so you can prepare you can wash the potatoes make four baked potatoes add the spicing to that you want and the same applies if you don't want to use potatoes and you want to use sweet potatoes even better i don't know man i'm having an identity crisis bro with what i don't know anymore if i'm a scientist or a doctor, or a natural pro, a YouTuber. No, I might just be a chef. I don't know, man. You guys gotta tell me in the comment section down below who I am. Now we're going to be placing the steak. And that is meal number two. 250 grams, about 8.8 .8 ounces of steak and 8.8 .8 ounces of potatoes. Again, you could have used sweet potatoes, you could have made fries with these, but this is gonna be super high protein, also good in source of carbs, with also a relative amount of fat. Let me read you guys the macros of this meal here. 
So in this entire plate, we have 557 calories coming out to 61.7 grams of carbs, 9.1 grams of fat, so very low in fat, and 59.6 grams of protein. This is an amazing meal because it's gonna keep you full throughout the night. So if you find yourself that you're hungry at night, this is a good protein source to go for with some carbs in the morning, with some carbs that will keep you throughout the night. Also very low in fat. I'll leave this one here. And to be honest, it's probably the meal that does take a bit longer because you need to put the potatoes in the air fryer for 20 minutes. Otherwise, on our list, this is the one that will take you the longest. You can add any of your favorite sauces to it, but the onions and the beefsteak, amazing. Let's move on to the next. Meal number three, again, is gonna be a meal that is easy to make and it's enjoyable with the entire family. Also, it's gonna be super calorie friendly. So we're gonna start off with the chicken breast. We will take our 200 grams of chicken breast as our protein source and spice well. So adding the garlic powder, the garlic steak seasoning, that is. Old spice seasoning, special seasoning. And then just mix really well. That's ready. So now we can prepare our chicken breast. Again, we'll be just using this light one calorie spray. It's actually zero calories. So it doesn't stick. That's all we want it for. While that prepares, I'm gonna prepare the wraps for our quesadilla. We'll be using Mission, right? Whole grain wrap. Now, per wrap, just so you guys have a reference, is 282 calories. Can you find more calorie friendly wraps? Yes. So in here is 48.9 grams of carbs. And just to show you guys, right, this is the wrap I've been using for all my other meals, for the pizza, for example. So just to compare, in one whole grain wrap, you have 48.9 grams of carbs, and in this low carb wrap, there's 13.1, right? Protein 7.9 in the whole grain, and protein here, 3.4. And then finally, fats, in this wrap is 5.2, where in this wrap it's 3.9. So it's all about finding calorie friendly alternatives. So this one definitely is the winner. So with the macros you're about to see, you can definitely make it a lot better by using a low carb wrap, but I did want to switch it up for those guys who have a bit more calories and want a bit more flavor. So while that prepares, and honestly this is thicker, while that prepares, I'm gonna add my cheese base. So I'm gonna add one of these as the base. So we've now thinly spread this cheese base, right, as one of them. And then we're gonna use these two when we add the chicken breast on top. The chicken breast is almost ready. Now, to prepare the quesadilla, we're gonna take the base and add, and then add the chicken breast. And I'm just gonna try and spread this as much as I can around the center. Add some tomatoes that I cut up from earlier, the onions, some parsley, the peppers that I had earlier. And then, what we will be adding is a layer of cheese, another layer, then adding the second base. So our wraps are ready, quesadillas excuse me. And here we have our quesadillas. Here we have our high protein quesadillas. Macros, 605 calories, that's 46.8 grams of protein, 16.3 grams of fat, and 62.6 grams of protein in this one plate. Again, the meals are fun, easy to make, and incredibly tasting. Again, my mouth is watering just with the smell coming through with the whole grain wrap. Incredible meal to have. Let's move on into meal number four. The next meal I'm about to show you is when you're very lazy, but you wanna eat something naughty. 
right? And you'll see what I mean. Here we have french fries that are cut. And these are the macros that you guys want when you shop for these, because sometimes they'll add oil into it. So I want you guys to have a reference when you go and search for french fries in your local grocery store. So per 100 grams, there is 126 calories, 3.3 grams of fat. If they're higher, it means that they've added some oil to it already. Then we have exactly 21 grams of carbohydrates and then the protein is going to be at 1.7 grams of protein. This is the type of fries you wanna look for. We're gonna add it to the air fryer. So we wanna add about 200 grams. 190. We're gonna take 200 grams of fries, add it to our air fryer, and we wanna spray it a little bit. and then add it to our air fryer for 20 minutes. Air fry at 180 degrees Celsius. And while that prepares, we can now make our lean ground beef. And again, this meal is something you can make when you're in a hurry, you're lazy, maybe you wanna watch a movie and you wanna get to bed. So you take 200 grams of lean ground beef, add it to the pan, break that up. We're gonna make our own Big Mac sauce. We're gonna use light mayo, 15 grams. This will give us four grams of fat. We'll have 15 grams. Then we will use one serving, another 15 grams of tomato sauce. And this will be the ketchup, 50% reduced sugar. So much better in calories. Then we can use mustard and really as much as we like because mustard doesn't have any calories. And that's about another 15 grams. And then finally, the secret ingredient is some pickle juice. Now, we're gonna add our fries as a base. And then onto the fries, I'm gonna add one cheese. our lettuce, our tomatoes, and then our pickles. And you can add as much pickles as you like in any of the garnishes. And then finally, our Big Mac sauce. Lovely. And that is our meal. And this meal just goes to prove and show that dieting doesn't have to be boring. In this entire plate, we have 558 calories, 44.9 grams of carbs, 14.4 grams of fat, and 51.5 grams of protein. We just use fries that we put in the air fryer. It saves you on all the oil that you'd have to put in there. Then you just add a layer of cheese, right, for your Big Mac French fries. You add all your lean ground beef, and then your tomatoes, lettuce, pickles, and then I showed you exactly how to make your own Big Mac sauce, a special sauce. And there we have it, our own Big Mac fries. So give this a go, like amazing to taste. My mouth is watering. I'm not even gonna try this. Let me go on to the next meal. And the final meal is going to be a healthy stir fry. Let's get straight into it. What we're going to need here is a yellow pepper, red pepper, onions. We're going to use 50 grams of uncooked rice, which is 150 grams. So just multiply your uncooked by three because it's all the moisture in the water that it absorbs. We're going to use some broccoli and then we're going to use 250 grams of chicken breast. We will use soy sauce. We'll add first 15 grams and then 15 grams later. So it'll be 30 in total. Let's get straight in. So the easiest thing to do is to steam it. I'm gonna add just a little bit of water and put it in the microwave for five to 10 minutes. We'll start with five. And while that's in there, I'll now prepare the veggies that I'm gonna use in my stir fry. The, 
The red peppers and the yellow peppers are amazing for your overall gut health. So whenever you make a meal, try and make it as colorful as possible. This is a nice, easy general rule, right? If you guys are thinking about your gut health, especially with the foods that you're putting in there, your microbiota feed off of these foods really well. So we have that, then our onion. We used half a, half a yellow pepper, half a red pepper, and then half an onion, right? So now, we can now start preparing the stir fry. We're gonna use a wok pan. And we're going to add the onions and the peppers and cook them till they're soft. So we'll just take this here. Well, that's busy. I'm gonna take my 250 grams of chicken breast and cut it into small cubes. Let's spice our chicken breast, garlic seasoning, seasoned salt, mix. I'm gonna add a little bit of water. And that is the broccoli ready. And three minutes in the microwave, not five. And we're gonna add the broccoli in here. And look at that, nice and green. And what I'll do now is add 50 mils of soy sauce. That smells amazing. So we'll mix that. Right after adding the broccoli, we'll add the chicken. And we've added the chicken breast. We can mix this well, right? Just so it gets some of that flavor and it's already coming together nicely. And now, chicken is ready, we add our rice. And here again, 50 grams uncooked, 150 grams cooked weight. And now we mix. That smells amazing. So, we're gonna add 50 more grams of soy sauce, so look at that. The aroma, the smell, exquisite. Let's add this meal to a plate. And our last meal is this chicken stir fried rice. And the macros for this meal come to 558 calories, 57.9 grams of carbs, 6.7 grams of fat, and 62 grams of protein. It's also very, very healthy. Some soy sauce for flavor, the aroma in this meal. By far my favorite meal, believe it or not, out of all of the five meals we made because it has its veggies in there, it's healthy, and also very, very low in fat. It's a good source of carbohydrates and you can have this in the evening. If you like, what I also liked about this meal is you could literally make four or five times the quantity and meal prep that for the entire week and just divide it into five different Tupperwares and there you have all your dinners for the rest of the week. So that I, I love the fact that you can meal prep these meals. So that is the last meal in here. Again, let me know in the comment section down below if you guys want me to make this a recurring series. But let me show you guys all five of the meals and these are the five best dinners to be able to lose your belly fat all of these meals here are between 450 to 600 calories so there's only 150 calorie difference at maximum but they're all on average 500 calories which is an amazing meal for the last part of your day what's also amazing about this is that the lowest amount of protein in each meal is 50 grams so you're gonna feel very full you're gonna feel very satiated and we have a good balance between the fun meals like the pizza that we have here in the quesadillas but also ones that will give you make you feel more fuller where you're having the stir fried rice and this just goes to show you what 500 calories can look like especially if all the macros are tracked and you can make it fun and you can rotate between these and that's the purpose of the series the series is to show you different options so you can be able to implement this not just for yourself but for your entire family and it's very likely and research has shown this actually that if one member in the family gets into good shape there's a 50 percent chance that everyone else gets into good shape as well so here is meals that you can have and even share with your family if you guys want more of these videos i'm happy to make them give the video a thumbs up if you want to work with me and work with my team of doctors fill out the questionnaire and we will get back to you you'll be able to chat with us but i'll leave the video here i'll see you guys in the next one
Cheers.